Sa bawat matamis na tagumpay sa sports, meron itong katapat na mapait na pagkatalo. At sa nakarang taon, ilan sa biggest upset sa ating nasaksihan. Ngayong gabi sa part 2 ng year-ender ng SNA, we're settling the final score with two sportsmen who were defeated yet determined to bounce back and seek redemption. Pabalikan din natin ang nag-trending sa mga Pinoy at naging most tweeted sporting event. At bibigyan po gayang angking galing ng mga atletang nag-uwi ng karangalan sa Pilipinas. Ako si TJ Manoto. At ako si Diane Castillejo. And this is the final score. The UAB Season 80, Santana College. The Warriors of NBA Champions again. WBO International Fellowweight Champion, Adamson University. Nakasilver naman si Michael Martinez sa ice skating event. Tumawa ng kasaysayan ng Pilipinas bilang unang Southeast Asian Games Ice Hockey Champion. Mga Pinoy athletes, dinagdagan pa ang medal hall ng bansa sa Southeast Asian Games. Sa judo, dalawang Pilipino Japanese ang nakapagbigay ng Taekwondo Kyoryugi. Nagpakita ng ilas ang... And the Minnesota University Ladies Fighters have won Women's Volleyball Championship! Bago pa lang magsimula ang NCAA Season 93, lahat ng basketball analysts, pati na rin ang mga coaches ng NCAA teams, sinasabi ng Lyceum University of the Philippines Pirates ang title favorites. Yan ang dahil sa kanilang formidable lineup na pinangungunahan ni CJ Perez, Mike Nsuzu, Marcelino Twins at MJ AI. Sa ilalim pa ng guidance ni head coach Topex Robinson. Attack Perez! At hindi nag-aksaya ng panahon ng Pirates na ipinamalas kung anong kaya nilang gawin sa bawat naro. Nakipagbakbakan. At lahat na nakaharap sa elimination round, tinalo ng LPU. Mapablowout win o close game, hindi sila kumurap. At ang resulta. And it is official! Woo! Kasaysayan! Para sa LPU! Ang kauna-una ang 18-0 sweep ng eliminations in NCAA Seniors Basketball History. Nakuha din ng Pirates ang automatic finals berth na sa sweep. Si Perez ang pinangalan ng MVP. At masok din sa Mythical 5 ang kanyang teammate na si Nsuzu. Si JC Marcelino naman ang Rookie of the Year. Give him a screen. Here's a corner three. Yes! Pero lahat ng achievements ng Pirates sa Eliminations, naglahong parang bula nang makaharap nila ang defending champions na San Beda Red Lion. Gamit ang kanilang championship experience, hindi pinaporma ng Red Lions ang Pirates sa Finals. Nakadalang ma-sweep para makuha ang 21st NCAA title ng San Beda. At ngayong gabi, we settled the final score with Coach Topex Robinson of LPU. Binisita siya ni Mix Bustos para himayin ang isa sa biggest upsets in NCAA history. Matapos ang pagkabigong makuwang kampinato, paano nga ba bumabangon ang kanyang kubunan para sa bagong bakbakan ngayong 2018? Viva! Viva! Hello mga kapamilya, I'm with Coach Topex Robinson of the LPU Pirates. Coach Topex, magandang araw po. Magandang araw, Sir Nix. Uh, Coach Topex, um, the LPU Pirates right now moving into Season 94. Kamusta naman ang team mo ngayon? Uh, after uh, crying a sea of, uh, no, of uh, I guess, frustration of, over the, the series or the finals, we were okay. Uh, life must go on for us. Uh, we were focusing now on, on other uh, other uh, leagues that, that we're looking at. Trying to grow, trying to trying to mature, and trying to be, I mean, learning from that experience that we had during Season 93. Uh, coach Topex, before becoming a coach for the LPU Pirates, sabi mo nga, you retired in 2010, but before that, you played for Montaña, you played for Barako Pool, um, San Juan Knights, also in the NBA. Was it ever your calling na ginusto mo maging coach later on? Uh, I find it weird, but the moment I got into the PBA, uh, I already told myself that after playing basketball, I'm I'm gonna get into coaching. Uh, maybe it's because most of my career, I, I rode the bench. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I guess one of the things also was when I was my first team in the PBA mm -hmm. was with Coach Yang, mm -hmm. and uh, I really look up to him. Uh, I told myself I'm gonna I'm gonna be like him someday, and I always write down the things that he he writes down on the board. So 
I always look at him the way he handles us. So I already know that you know I'll, I'll be coaching in the in the future. Coach Shopex, besides from coaching, sino po po ba yung mga coaches na naging idol niyo or mga naging mentor niyo? Paano siya na instrumental sa inyong coaching? I think uh, there's a lot. Obviously, Coach Sheng, Coach Leo, Austria was my my coach in the in the PBL before. Coach uh, Tim Cohn, I was blessed to have a year with Coach Tim, and uh, there's there's so many coaches that I really look up to. I mean, Coach Louis, obviously. So there's so many of them that that really influenced me and really was an uh, uh, um, serve as a mentor to me. Mm -hmm. Is there one thing in common between all those coaches? Na tingin mo na nakatulong para sa? Uh, one one I guess one common denominator as far as my relationships with there was concerned was they were they were. They, they built deeper relationships with the players. I guess, uh, again, way beyond the X and the O's, uh, I guess the reason why we follow those coaches is because we felt that we, they cared for us. Coach Topex, uh, they say coaching is a thankless job. You know, once w when you're up, when you're winning, you're, you're like the king of the world. But then when you go down, it's like everybody is against you. Um, but is there something that keeps you going, keeps you motivated when it comes to that? Uh, some are given this opportunity to coach, but to, for you to commit to be a leader, it has to be a choice. And very important here is you have to commit. And one thing that, that's very important, being a coach, is courage. You have to know your why. Mm -hmm. you, know, you really have to go deep into your thoughts that, why am I here? So far in your three years with the LPU, what has been the most challenging for you? Uh, for me, the... the I guess the first few years was was kind of deep. You know, it's really hard because you came in there with uh, with the culture that they had already. I guess also one of the hardest things for me was to take out more than half of my players to bring in the guys that I think is aligned with with my beliefs. I have to be really deep or, or courageous enough to to tell this kid that you're not gonna be part of the team next year. So. That's that's really hard on on my end. Talking about the NCAA eliminations, did you expect that you guys were going for it? Nobody, I mean, nobody really expected us to here. Not even me. I was I was I was really surprised by by the outcome of of, uh, the, of that season. But again, we always go back to our our vision. You know, we always tell we all, I always tell myself being being the the coach that. You know, winning is just gonna be the result of, of our of our vision. You know, and I'm more excited and I'm, I'm more looking at the vision rather than the results. That 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 game, that last game against San Beda during the eliminations was was the was the final game for us to sweep this, the the season. So it was a blessing for us. You know, it, it it taught us a lot of lessons. And what's important is the lessons that we we've, we've learned is gonna carry carry us along. In our in our journey, coach. In terms of being on the court, what made LPU special? I guess it's it's uh, the buy-in of the of the beliefs, you know, from from our staff down to our president. Mm -hmm. So everybody was was really committed to really changing the culture. Kumbaga binuusan nila lahat. They just gave everything that they they have and believed in you. Mm -hmm. What rocked the boat in game one? It's gonna be my mistake because I, I let a lot of things uh, happen. What was the feeling like when Game 2 of the championship, when the final buzzer sounded? I know it's something unique. What happened in the dugout, Coach, after that? As a coach uh, in your career and in life, what is maybe the one thing or two that you learned from this season? It's about how you really build relationships. Narito na ang top 10 most tweeted sports hashtags in the Philippines for 2017. Number 10. Hashtag Vilas Pilipinas. Umariba ang mga Pinoy basketball fans at Twitter to keep motivating the national team for its ongoing bid to the 2019 FIBA World Cup. Sa number 9. Andyan ang hashtag PBA Finals. Courtesy of the Never Say Die philosophy of the Hinebra Gin Kings. Nanaig ang Hinebra versus the Meralco Bolts upang itala ang kanilang 10th PBA Championship. Sa number 8. Animal! Hashtag Animo. The La Salian community went all out for their athletes as the Green Archers tried to defend their men's basketball title in the UAP. But beyond the quest for the basketball crown, ang Animo ay isang battle cry for all the other achievements of the school in UAP Season 80. 
at number 7. Team. Hashtag Golden Glory Ateneo. Nag-trend yung summer 2017 dahil sa season 79 women's volleyball tournament. Bagamat nanalo ang Lasalle for their second straight title, nagingay pa ng mga fans sa Twitter upang ipakita ang kanilang appreciation sa kanilang mga favorite Lady Eagles. Sa number 6, nagbabalik ang ating national basketball team with the hashtag Laban Pilipinas. Tinapos kasi ng gilas ang first window ng kanilang qualifier round at a spotless 2-0. At ang sunod nilang naro ay sa February 2018 against Japan at Australia. At number 5, we have hashtag UAP Season 80. For any story or reaction related to the season, from Taekwondo, to Judo, to Swimming, Badminton, Beach Volleyball, Cheer dance. What? And of course, men's basketball. Season 80. Season 80 just keeps getting better. Champions. At number four. Hashtag OBF. Which means one big fight. It's one of the Blue Eagles' battle cry every time they compete for the blue and white. Online. Athenians and their fans took Twitter by storm, not just to show school spirit, but to rally support for the Season 80 men's basketball champions, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Sa so number three, nianig ng boxing matchup na hashtag Packhorn ang mga netizens. Controversial ang unanimous decision win ng Australianong si Jeff Horn laban sa people's champ na si Manny Pacquiao noong July. Upset ang naging resulta. Ngunit marami nagpahayag na dapat imbestigahan ng match. Samantala, ayon mismo sa World Boxing Organization, tamang pagkaka-officiate ng laban. Pinag-uusapan pa rin ng mga kampo kung magkakaroon nga ba ng pack horn rematch. Sa number 2, ang highly anticipated at makapigil hiningang hashtag UAPCDC2017. All eight universities competed for the crown. But in the end, it was Adamson University that brought home the trophy. Isang 80s team routine ang nagpapanalo sa San Marcelino squad for the very first time in CDC history. USC Salengawi placed first one up while UE Pep squad scored the bronze. And rounding out the top 10 is hashtag NBA Finals. Thanks to basketball crazy Pinoy's, ang ikatlong meeting sa finals ng Golden State Warriors at Cleveland Cavaliers ang top trending topics of sports this year after five games. Dub Nation na nagari sa NBA at ang bagong lipat na si Kevin Durant ang naging Finals MVP. Tutuloy na natin ang kwento, ang huling kabanata dito sa Season 93 ng NCAA. It is LPU versus San Beda in Game 1 of the Finals. What rocked the boat in Game 1? It's gonna be my mistake because I, I let a lot of things uh, happen. Uh, and I, I wasn't able to prepare the team, I guess, in a way that finals should be played. You know, uh, we have to, I always have to remind myself that I have a bunch of rookies that we're not used to playing in that kind of atmosphere. And again, the, San Beda was the better team. You know, they were the better team. Uh, they were a well-coached team. So we just couldn't hold, uh, hold on to that, to that lead. And when they started, Getting on the rhythm, we weren't able to stop. San Beda has that uh, finals experience. Coming in to next year, uh, Coach Topex, you have that finals experience already. What is going to be the expectation coming? We're still going to play our, our brand of basketball. It won't guarantee of a, of a sweep again. Yeah. But again, uh, it's always going to be how we, we're going to perceive ourselves. I guess this is going to be the test of our characters. And people. You know, uh, people obviously will rank us as, I guess, either one or two in, in this uh, season. But again, we have to always remember that we're always going to be at our very best at any given opportunity. You know, you're always going to compete at the level that the others are competing. So that's going to be the same, the, the same uh, vision that we're going to have. And it is official. Coach, what was the feeling like when game two of the championship, when the final buzzer sounded? I know it's something unique. Mm -hmm. 
And then how are you going to use that as motivation? I mean, experience is the best teacher. Uh, it was really, I mean, tough on us, especially on my end that, that I know that my, uh, my players deserve to win the championship. And I just felt that, you know, it's my, it's my responsibility or it's my fault that, that we didn't go all the way. And we always have to go back to that. Actually, during the awarding ceremonies, everybody was out yeah. there. And, and I just want to make sure that everybody sees it's a class act. Yeah, how, yes. how is it? We respect San Beda winning the championship. They, they deserve it. And it's also a reminder to us that, you know, you have to really see how it feels to win a championship. What happened in the dugout, Coach, after that? Again, it was emotional. Everybody was emotional. I was, I was emotional. But the management was there mm -hmm. celebrating. I was like, I, was, I felt bad. But I, I see our, our president, Mr. Bobby Laurel, congratulating us. I was like, weird. You know, but it, yeah. it, it was genuine, you know, it was genuine, it was, it was, you know, he was really proud of what we did. Almost every, every senior guy there in San Beda congratulated us, you know, the, the fans of San Beda were congratulating us. I guess, again, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it, it's not just about the wins, you know, but how you play the game. But coach, coming into next year, your preparation for the LPU Pirates? Uh, we're, we're joining, again, uh, we started early, uh, we just had a few days break. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to lick, uh, lick our wounds, and we're joining uh, leagues now. We're joining commercial. We're, we're obviously there's the there's the collegiate uh, league that's coming up, and we we try to get better at, at ourselves and try to improve individually. Coach, next year the core is still very much alive. Uh yes. Uh, we we lost two guys. Uh, we lost Wilson Baltasar and then uh, Pipoy Marata to to graduation and. I mean, we're excited because pretty much we have the same core and we're excited for the guys that, that we're going to bring in. And we know that the other teams are, have also improved, you know. Uh, but again, at, at the end of the day, it's how we're going to improve as a group that's important for us. As a coach uh, in your career and in life, what is maybe the one thing or two that you learned from this season? It's about how you really build relationships. You know, the deeper the relationship with, with anybody on, on, on the group is... It's really special, you know. The law of reciprocity is, you know, you genuinely love others. They, they will genuinely love you back. We always preach this to everybody that, you know, it doesn't have to always be you being the boss, you always being right, that your players are always wrong. So, again, you, you could have that kind of relationship that you build that circle of safety that they're going to come to practice inspired, feel safe when they're in practice, and come home fulfilled at the end of the day. Alright, there you have it. We'll see Coach Topex more the season 94 ng NCA. Coach Topex, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank, you. You, thank you. 2017, nagmarka ang taong ito sa karera ng People's Champ. Nagtapos ang taon na walang hawak na boxing championship si Manny Pacquiao. Ang shocking loss ni Pacquiao sa Australia. Isa lamang yan sa mapapag-usapan natin kasama mismo ang Fighting Senators sa aming exclusive interview. Magbabalik ang The Final Score. Bago pa man magsimula ang 2016-2017 NBA season, inasahan na lang marami na ang defending champion Cleveland Cavaliers at ang Golden State Warriors ang magaharap sa NBA Finals. For Golden State, Irving drives, score! Let's go! Down Curry, corner three! Yan nga ang nangyari noong June 2017 dahil sa ikatlong sunod na pagkakataon, nagtagisa ng dalawa para sa pag-uwi ng Larry O'Brien Trophy. On the way to becoming the number one most tweeted hashtag in the Philippines this year. And we're here to relive all the reasons why. Durant finds Iguodala. Hits the three at the buzzer. Handling Durant down the lane. With the Dubs lineup further strengthened by the acquisition of Kevin Durant. Pakako ng Warriors, hindi hindi na sila magkakampante. Palagi na lang kasing punchline sa internet ang kanilang pagkatalo ng 2015-2016 season after a 3-1 series lead in the finals. Irving gets away, Green picks him up, Irving drives hard. Sa Matala, last season, kinaya ng Cavs ang makabangon mula sa isang 3-1 hole. Pero sa taong ito, nahirapan silang i-duplicate ang historic playoff run na yan. Durant ahead to Green! Game 1 pa lang, kung saan para bang naubusan ng Cavs ng offensive options. Ang inaabang ang madramang ending, 
tambakan. Parang formality na lang dahil lopsided ang panalo ng Warriors 113-91. to Sa Game 2, patuloy na binali wala ng Warriors ang efforts ni The King Lebron James para itulak papalayo ang kanilang serious deed to 2-0. Si Durant ang tinanghal na best player with 33 points, while Steph Curry got the first final triple-double of his career with 32 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists. Finds James. James open for three. Got it! Curry. By Game 3, LeBron's best was still not good enough. Ang 39-point masterclass na iniay ni LeBron James Nasabutai pare. Kevin Durant rattles home the three pointer. Durant again led the dub to a late rally. Para sa isang 118 to 113 win. And Golden State takes the lead. Go on a pass. Thompson though kicks it out. Love corner three. Very upset. James drives. Scoop layup. Pass to himself. And he throws it down. But the next game kept things interesting. Kevin Love. Another three. Back up top. Shepard swings at Darren Williams. Hits a three. Buhay pa ang Cleveland Cavaliers sa serye after a 137-116 win. Tuloy ang best of seven courtesy of a game high 40 points mula kay Kyrie Irving. Record-breaking game ito para sa Cavs na tinalo ang 1985 first half output ng Boston Celtics with 86 points. This also ended the perfect run of the Warriors in the playoffs. Thompson, Durant, and Green. Inside, Durant! When it's a game five, tinapos na ng Warriors ang serye. At siniguradong hindi na makakabalik pa ang Cavs sa contention. Thanks to 39 points mula kay Durant at 34 points mula kay Curry. The Dubs finally avenged their heartbreaking loss last year. You are the NBA champions. Matapos si Uwi ang title, the Warriors have secured a spot among legends as one of the NBA's greatest championship squads. And so we must keep asking the question, which team can now beat Golden State in the finals? Sambayan ng Pilipino sa pagbabalik ni Manny Pacquiao sa boxing ring noong July 2017. Pero matapos ang 12 rounds at madugong bakbakan, nagulantang ang 8 Division World Boxing Champion at ang Boxing World sa naging resulta ng laban. Panalo ang underdog na si Jeff Horn via unanimous decision. Isinuko ni Pacquiao ang WBO Welterweight Champion title sa Australiano. At sa pag-uwi ng fighting senator sa Pilipinas, matapos ang isa sa biggest upsets in boxing history, humarap siya sa mga katanungan tungkol sa rematch at pagretiro. Marami ding issue na hinarap si Manny Pacquiao bilang bahagi ng mundo ng basketball at ng politika. At ngayong gabi, iisa-isahin natin ang mga katanungan ng sambayanan para sa People's Champ. Ano nga ba ang kanyang mga plano as he bounces back from a challenging 2017? We settle the final score with Senator Manny Pacquiao. What are you most thankful for in 2017? Uh, thankful to God and thankful to to my work na nagampanan ko ng gusto and oh, hindi hindi madali naman yung yung trabaho ko and then as a boxer yeah. Active in boxing, so. Kung meron kang babaguhin sa 2017, ano yung, ano yung ibabago mo? Kung may babaguhin ako, siguro, keep on learning, siguro. Yeah. But lang. what's the, what, what have you learned? What's the, ano yung pinaka natutunan mo sa 2017 from your work? Uh, learning to fulfill my, my duty as a, as a, as a, in the, in the Republic of the Philippines, mm -hmm. and also as a boxer, and um, how to deal with, with the people, yes. um, nangangailangan, 
Mm, I was uh, praying to God that um, He will guide me and lead me into all the truth. And you're always talking about being a boxer. So, ang ibig sabihin, hindi ka pa tapos as a boxer, right? Nato ng mga tao, ano nang nangyari sa rematch mo with Jeff Horn? Mga yari ba yun or hindi na? Um, it's also possible because uh, may close rematch, rematch naman kami sa, ah, sa contract. Okay. So, so, pwede pa? Uh, pwede pa. What about yung talks niya with McGregor? Umuusad ba? Is there any movement mm, forward? Mahirap magano. That's possible also, pero... Mahirap magbigay ng uh, final conclusion about that issue, about that uh, fight. Dahil hindi pa talaga nagkaroon ng final uh, discussion. Pero possible naman yan. Yeah. A lot of people are talking about it na kasi. So they're asking me, Dayan, if Manny were to fight McGregor, paano mo siya lalabanan? Yan ang isa sa mga tanong nila. In boxing. Yeah, in boxing. Course, in, in, in boxing and... Ah, uh, madali lang. Madali lang. More experience uh, than him, so. So you think it'll be an easy win for you if you fight him? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's move to basketball. What can you say about the controversial trade between yung Kia San Miguel trade sa PBA? Yen yung nagkakaroon ng ng issue doon. Mm -hmm. uh, siguro, maraming mga teams na umaangal din. Uh, kailangan maging uh, stricto naman yung commissioner at uh, uh, maging fair sa lahat. Yeah. Yung pag-head mo ng confirmation hearing in the Senate, di ba ikaw yung head ng committee, and then na-air yun sa TV. Uh, how was that experience for you? Um, it's a great experience. Um, part of my experience in 2017 na mm -hmm. uh, mag-head ng isang uh, uh, yeah. committee uh, in Commission on Appointments, so it's not easy, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Okay, what about your family, Manny? Kung masta si Jinky and your kids, do they still want you to fight your kids? I can see the the reaction of their in their faces. Na I don't want me to to get hurt. I know. See, Michael wants to be a boxer. Okay, no. Kinalanin natin ang mga atletang nagpakita ng pusong palaban ngayong 2017. Here are the names that made it to our top stories and even our history books. nag ng 24 golds, 33 silvers at 64 bronze medals ang mga Pilipino mula sa 2017 Southeast Asian Games. Mas mababa ang nakuhang ginto ngayong taon kaysa sa SEA Games noong 2015 sa Singapore at noong 2013 sa Myanmar. Ngunit hindi ito dahilan upang hindi ipagdiwang ang tagumpay ng ating mga atleta. Tulad na lang ng pagkapanalo ni Mary Joy Tabal sa Women's Marathon na siya ring unang gintong medalya ng Pilipinas sa 29th SEA Games. Matapos ang tagumpay sa Kuala Lumpur, target ngayon ni Mary Joy na magbigay ng magandang performance upang mag-qualify sa 2020 Japan Olympics. Gold medalist din sa SEA Games ang triathletes na sina Nico Huelga sa men's division at Kim Mangrobang sa women's division. Para kay Nico, sakto ang qualities ng mga Pilipino para sa mga endurance sports tulad ng triathlon at tulad ni Mary Joy, hangad niya ring makakuha ng slot para sa 2020 Games. Ngayong taon, muling narinig ng mga Pilipino ang pangalan ni Eric Cray nang makapodium finish siya sa 400-meter hurdles. Dahil sa panalo, naidepensa niya ang title noong 2015 SEA Games at siya pa rin ang nanatiling Southeast Asian Champion sa hurdles event. Nariyan din ang gold medalist na si Aris Toledo pagdating sa decathlon na umaasang ito ang sport na mag-aahon sa kanyang pamilya sa kahirapan. Kapag wala kasing training, namamasada ng tricycle si Aris. Ang allowance niya mula sa Philippine Sports Commission, ipinagpapaaral niya sa kanyang dalawang kapatid. 2019 SEA Games ang sunod na target ni Aris. Gold medal din ang iniuwi ni Dines Dumaan sa sport na penchak sila. Dating magsasaka si Dines sa Capiz City. At ang incentive mula sa kanyang podium finish, ibinigay niya sa kanyang mga magulang upang bilhin ang lupang sinasaka at ipangbayad sa utang. 
patuloy ang pagsasanay ni Dina sa sport dahil naniniwala siyang mas matutulungan niya ang kanyang pamilya sa ganitong paraan. Mission accomplished naman ang sigaw ng Philippine Billiards matapos ang 1-2-C Games finish ng Q-Artist na sina Cheska Centeno at Rubilen Amit. Parang replay lang ito ng SEA Games sa Singapore two years ago kung saan tinalo din ni Centeno si Amit. Ngunit panalo pa rin ng mga Pilipino dahil nanatili ang 9-ball gold at silver sa bansa. Tagumpay rin ang pagbabalik bayan ng Phil Britt na si John Marvin after winning the light heavyweight gold medal in just 21 seconds in the final. Dagdag pa dyan, 3-0 ang record ng 24-year-old Lance Corporal nang lumaban para sa bansa. Sa ngayon, balik England muna si John. Handa siya sakaling tawagin muli to carry the Philippine flag in international competition. Tropical country man sa Pilipinas, hindi ito naging hadlang para sa mga ice athletes ng bansa upang maging medalist at breakthrough performers. Siyempre, andyan ang ating Olympia na si Michael Martinez who took home the silver medal in the men's individual free skating event. Hindi man naiuwi ang ginto, tiwala si Michael na magandang venue ang SEA Games para sa kanyang gagamiting routine sa Olympic qualifiers. In 2014, Michael became the first skater from Southeast Asia to qualify for the Winter Games. Umuwi namang kampiyon ang men's hockey team ng bansa. At hindi lang yan, sila rin ang kauna-unahang gold medalist dahil ito ang debut ng sport na hockey sa SEA Games. Binigyan tuloy sila ng nickname na Philippine Mighty Ducks. Kaya naman, nananatiling ganado ang team na itaas ang awareness ng hockey sa bansa at mag-recruit ng mas maraming players para sa future games. Sa ibang competition naman, 2017 din ng unang makilala ng mga Pilipino si Adrian Tonko, ang ngayon number 21 na snowboarder ng Canada. Ginulat niya ang lahat ng makapasok sa top 5 sa Canada Winter Games. Dito ipinanganak sa Pilipinas si Tonko at pangarap niyang ibandera ang Philippine flag sa Winter Olympics. At makalipas ang labing apat na taon, may kampiyon na ulit ang Pilipinas sa Bowling World Cup. Tagumpay si Crisia Tabora matapos pataubin ang higit 60 sa pinakamagagaling na bowlers na nagtagisan sa Mexico. Si Crisia ang ikalimang Pilipino to win the World Cup, giving the country its eighth World Cup title. Dalawa ang mukha ng 2017 para sa Team Lakay. It was a strong start for the team, with six wins in a row to start off the year, including Edward Forlayang's title defense versus Ev Ting of Malaysia. Ngunit bago matapos ang taon, natalo si Forlayang kay Martin Mullian ng Australia through a shocking well-timed counter hook that knocked out the Filipino. Samantala ang stable making for Layang na si Kevin Bellingon na nalo via unanimous decision versus Kevin Chung to help set up a rematch against Bantam King Bibiano Fernandez. In boxing, Filipinos continue to produce heroes in the ring. Nariyan si Mark Magsayo, who survived a 12-round slugfest laban kay Shota Hayasi ng Japan sa main event ng Pinoy Pride 43. May 18 wins na ngayon si Magsayo. At pinagkahandaan na ng kanyang kampo ang posibleng paghahabol niya sa world title against WBO featherweight king Oscar Valdez. Kahit duguan, nadepensahan pa rin ni Milan Melindo ang kanyang titulo sa junior flyweight division matapos talunin si Heki Butler ng South Africa via split decision. Now with 37 wins and 2 losses, iisa ngayon ang goal ni Melindo to become the undisputed world Junior Flyweight Champion. Noong Abril, Donny Ahas Nietes became only the third Filipino fighter to win championships in three different weight divisions. Kasama niya sa elite club na yan, ang boxing champ na si Manny Pacman Pacquiao at si Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donaire. Tinalo ni Nietes si Comgrich Nantapek ng Thailand via unanimous decision. Kaya dala niya ngayon ang IBF World Flyweight Belt. Pati na rin ang minimum weight at light flyweight belts na hawak niya dati.
And finally, ang puso ng Gilas Pilipinas. Nawala pa rin talo sa FIBA World Cup Asian Qualifiers. So far, Gilas have fended off Japan in the first leg as well as Chinese Taipei. Tied ngayon sa standings ng Group B, ang Australia at Pilipinas sa second leg na sa 2018. Makakaharap ng Gilas ang Japan sa February 25, ang Australia naman ay sa July 2. Okay, what about your family, Manny? Kamusta si Jinky and your kids? Pagdating ba sa mga desisyon mo ay kinukonsulta mo pa sila or sinusunod na nila kung ano yung gusto mo? Um, kung ano yung gusto ko, ginagawa ko. And kung may, may mali, something wrong uh, na mali, eh, nag, nagsasuggest naman sila. Uh, do they, yung mga boys mo, do they tell you na, Daddy, gusto, gusto ko pang makita na isa pang boxing fight, do they still want you to fight your kids? Um, usually they are quiet. Quiet? About boxing, yes. And they don't say anything? They don't say anything, but uh, I can see the, the reaction of their, in their faces na... That? Na, oh, I didn't want, <laughs> I don't want me to, to get hurt. <laughs> uh, but they still want you to fight? Yeah. yeah. Half half? Half half. I know si Michael wants to be a boxer. Exactly. Papayagan mo ba siya? Si Michael? Mm -mm. Um, Papayagan mo? No. Ah, no. Mapayagan. <laughs> Bakit? I'm thinking. Uh, Better he ask you always, di ba? Boxing is not, it's not easy. Yeah. Manny, how would you rate yourself in 2017 as a senator and as a boxer? I don't want to rate myself. Um, I can say uh, I'm learning. I'm um, learning and learning. You're still learning. Yeah. Your hunger for boxing is still there. And pa yung, yes, when you think about fighting, gusto, gusto mo pa rin na yeah. gumising, mag-ensayo, ganon? Mm. Hindi ka pa napapagod, yes, no? Yes, no problem. Are you feel at 39? How does Manny Pacquiao feel at 39? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah. Duterte is going to be at your party again. Last mm -hmm. year, he, he prophesied na magiging presidente ka. Will you run for president? Oh, I don't have that in my mind right now. Um, my focus is uh, to serve people as a as a senator. Mm -hmm. Pero as a public servant, marami akong matutunan, marami akong na-achieve na, uh, na goal na gusto ko ma-man. Mm -hmm. And to continue my journey in boxing. So, <laughs> boxing, nandiyan pa. Last question, what's your plan for 2018? Ano yung gusto mong ma-achieve sa 2018? Ano yung isa sa mga goals mo? My goal is to continue my boxing career and uh, shining in the, in the ring and then also uh, uh, continue uh, share the gospel and also, uh, um, of course, uh, yung investigation natin sa Senate about the corruption, about the uh, dapat na investigahan and yung trabaho natin sa Senate. Okay, Merry Christmas, Happy Thank Birthday. You. Thank you. Gaano man kapait ang pagkatalo, parating may pagkakataon na muling makabangon. Saludo kami sa lahat ng atletang buong tapang na lumaban noong 2017 at buong puso pa rin haharap sa bagong bakbakan ngayong 2018. At sa pagsisimula ng bagong taon, samahan niyo kami mga kapamilya dito sa SNA upang tutukan muli ang mga exceptional at inspiring stories sa mundo ng sports. Ito ang The Final Score. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.